Oh, hello there. Yes, nobody on the road, nobody on the beach. I feel it in the air. Summer's just out of reach. Yeah, you see, I do listen to other stuff occasionally. I'm not just stuck in the 80s. Or I once had a, a pupil that said that to me. Oh, you're so 1980s. And I said, no, I'm, 90, I'm 90, so 1970s, if you don't mind. Yes, indeed. Anyway, leaving that aside, uh, today I just wanted to uh, highlight... Um, a shift in the anti-trans in schools debate. Um, Claire Page of No Secret Lessons Organisation, let's face it, it's just her in her bedroom, but leaving that aside, um, I posted up with a very indignant tweet uh, on Friday about um, some material that she'd been presumably sent uh, which was being used in a year eight lesson. And um, I will post this up at the end so you can look at it for yourself. Um, not too long, mind you, because you may become contaminated in a social contagion type of way. But um, she's really basically railing against individual words here. This is the kind of level that we're at now, that that um, the anti-trans in schools brigade are now railing about individual words being used, as though magically this will change people. I mean, you know, the, the rationale, OK? Let me just show you this, OK? This is a GCSE textbook, AQA, it's fairly standard, and you'll notice there's Charlie Chaplin there on the front cover. Now, the fact that I've shown you that will, of course, turn you into a Nazi. Now, obviously, that's ridiculous, isn't it? Yes, it is, but realistically, that's the Claire Page et al. argument. I might argue, for example, that if I was to give you, let's say, a 20-minute overview of the history of Germany between 1918 and 1945, that that also wouldn't make you a Nazi, and you would agree with me. And there are decades of cohorts of young people that have studied Nazi Germany at GCSE and they're not Nazis. So this idea of presenting individuals in schools with particular things which will instantly change them is a bit spurious. I mean Claire has actually had the temerity to um, complain at the inquest of, by suicide of a teenager about the pronouns being used which is a level of tone deafness that is really out there. But there, this is the basic idea, you see, that if you merely show somebody a word or a picture, they will instantly become changed, because at 12 you cannot make up your own mind. One has to say, well, when exactly do we present this stuff? And the argument, which used to be, oh, well, it's up to parents to decide, is now never. Nothing in schools. OK, nothing in schools. So we get, for example, articles in the Daily Telegraph, which are insisting that that's what needs to be done. Nothing, nothing about this. OK, um, Martin Dorby uh, had a discussion on GP News on Friday uh, with Michael Walker from Navarro Media. Michael Walker is a gay man and he was saying this is exactly Section 20A stuff. And Martin was going, oh, no, 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 of course it isn't, because, of course, we can't admit that that's going, going to be basically what this feeds into but nevertheless it does there's this idea which is really quite astounding that the the social contagion comes from a worksheet being given i don't know let's try and think about that let's say it's going to take you five minutes to complete each worksheet even at a push so that's a 10 minutes out of i don't know what is probably going to be a two year long phse rse course so that will be the deciding factor maybe not eh? and if we're really into social contagion surely we have to suggest that all of the blanket coverage of anti-trans stuff that's in the media across the board is also going to affect young people. Has Claire Page thought that banging on about this? Has Miriam Gates thought that banging on about this? Has Martin Dorby thought that banging on about this? Has Alison Pearson thought that banging on about this is actually the reason why all of these young people are how they are? And the answer is no, it can't be us, obviously. It has to be that five-minute worksheet that that child did when they were 12. And for some bizarre reason, they've become very unhappy because it can't be us putting all this anti-trans stuff out there. It must be other people. Anyway, I, I don't know. Just, just I don't know. I, 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 I find myself 
just astounded by these people and how utterly, I don't know, at best tone deaf their empathy levels are. But also their models of the world are really odd in the sense that I can show you a picture of Adolf Hitler and it won't make you a Nazi. But if you see a pride flag, you're going to instantaneously want to buy some bondage gear. It's unlikely, isn't it? Anyway, do have a cool, cool summer. Yeah, enjoy.